Today we're going to learn how to foam roll the glute muscles, otherwise known as the butt. So the first thing is when you're on the mat, grab hold of the roller, lift yourself and find a nice seat, comfortable seat, legs on the floor for balance. Then we're going to reach, we're going to start with one side at a time. You're going to take the arm. If you're following me, you're going to reach down with the right arm and like your mirror, you're going to lean onto that right glute. You're going to use your feet to roll yourself from the top of the glute to the bottom all the way the whole way now as you roll you might find some tender spots i call them speed bumps so if you find a speed bump just pause slowly over it as long as it's not too painful you never want to have pain any kind of zingers i call them anything that catches your breath ease off if you do not too heavy use your feet and your hands to limit the pressure or add pressure by limiting the weight in your feet as you roll. That's one way. Another way to get a little deeper is to take the right leg, the side you're leaning on, cross that leg over the thigh, and then you're gonna roll again. Now here we're pulling the muscles a little more taut, so you're gonna get in a little deeper. You might feel more sensation rolling this way. a Little bit more, so back and forth. If you find a spot, maybe pause and move the knee up and down. That's going to help get rid of that adhesion, that tender spot, that knot, that speed bump. We're going to work it out and then move on past. Another option, you can roll gently side to side. Again, depending on your discomfort level and then move all the way back up the glute and then back down. Good. Another way. Now, if the wrist gets tired at any time, we are going to take the leg off. We're going to drop to the elbow. Use the legs again. This time we have no pressure on the wrist and we can roll that whole loop, top to bottom. You can move and adjust the elbow. You can even use the opposite hand for support, especially if it gets a little painful. And then you can even bring that leg back up and roll again, a little bit deeper. So here you have lots of different options as you go along. You can rock side to side. Next. And then when you're done, Slowly lift yourself up. You can lower yourself down to the floor or stay on the roller and then just give it a nice stretch and then go ahead and repeat on the other side. 